is very important. Same example about ECP. Now, a lot of people might be doing ECP over here, I'm sure. So ECP is not nothing new. It's a not it's it's not a new technology. It's very old. We have seen in Indomedicon also whoever have had come in Indomedicon or we had we had done the workshop of non-invasive cardiology. So ECP was there in early 1990s also. Sorry, early 19 uh, uh, 1900s, 1920, 1930, 1940. Big machines were there. When we were not very good in doing the bypass surgeries and angioplasties, we were not having that much of confidence. At that time, ECP was taking care of those people. Then ECP, again, big claims were made. Then ECP was, you know, it took a back seat. During that time, angioplasties and uh, CABG came in, came in the world. They were done by the cardiologist, promoted more, but no claims were made. If you really see that, I have never seen an advertisement where it is said that you come and do a coronary angioplasty or PTCA and your life will change. Have you seen any ad like that way? Ever? I have not seen, to be very honest. You come and do your CABG and your life will change. Probably you will not see these changes or these advertisements. You will always see disclaimer with them. You know, angioplasty may not be a solution. CABG, you can do it, but may not be. So that is the difference between the two groups. And I am someone standing between the two groups. That's what I thought of. I have to be the bridge of these two groups. But as soon as you go to ECP side, you will see again see a lot of claims over there. You know, like uh, no surgery bypass, your life will change. In the US, ECP is even given as that, again, elixir of youth just like DHEA, come and do ECP, your life will change. A Lot of issues had happened in the US because of that. So now what happened because of this? The claims went high, the group of doctors who are logical, more, I, 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 I mean logical when I'm saying, I'm not saying they are not logical, both have their own logics, but who are scientific based, who are more evidence based, right or wrong, I don't, I am not here to comment on that. They started going away from ECP. Right? They started talking negative about ECP. And the other group who was offering ECP started talking negative about angioplasty and angiography. And a huge debate started happening. But in all this, who suffered? First is the technology suffered. By now, ECP should have been actually in each and every cardiologist chamber should have one ECP machine. This is a reality. But then comes the ego. And then comes that staying away from the claim. So how many of the cardiologists really have ECP machine? I am sure not even 0 0.00000001%. And how many ECP providers are actually the alternative medicine practitioners? How many? Maybe more than 50 or 60%. Maybe 70%. Believe me, if I know 10 ECP providers, eight are alternative medicine practitioners. I'm not saying they are wrong, but what I'm saying is, if ECP would have been, like Dr. Jaria, if he's using ECP, so ECP is going to benefit him, and he's going to benefit ECP. Because more and more people are going to follow him. If Hinduja Hospital has ECP, more of ECP, more of more people will, but what made ECP to take a back seat? Claims. So whenever there's a claim, Somebody intellectual, so-called, will come up, uh, no, it's wrong, right? And then the debate. 